Jamie Lee and today I'll be doing a live reaction to The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. I am so excited to have The Walking Dead content back on our screens again and I'm just so excited to have The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live and then coming up we've got Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol, My Queen, Bow Down to the Queen. Then after that we have Dead City Season 2 and then more than likely, I don't think it's been officially confirmed yet but there were rumours that there's The Ones Who Live Season 2 so I'm hoping that they'll drag this one out, not overcomplicate it, but I think this is going to be heavily focused on the CRM, finding out what Rick's been up to and that journey of Michonne finding him. And then hopefully in season two, we'll get that big reunion with the whole group. He sees Judith, meets RJ, like he doesn't even know he has a son yet. Uh, that blows my mind. Um, and who knows, we could get crossovers with, you know, Daryl Dixon and Dead City, hopefully. We don't know what's going to happen, but I am here for it all of it uh and i'm so ready to see rhett grimes on our screens again doing stuff and things Lori, laurie's gone but you know what i mean rick grimes back on our screens doing stuff and things i'm ready for it let's watch it here we go i tried please no i tried them gorgeous locks i loved that in the trailer and i love it now <laughs> look at those eyes Poor sad Rick. Oh, God. Well, that's one way to open the episode. Jesus. Oh, my God. The world's going to need Rick Grimes. <gasps> All right, let's have a look at this intro. Beautiful. The helicopters that we've been so heavily teased with throughout The Walking Dead. A lot happening in that. Okay, so he's got two hands. He's got two hands currently. Well, five years ago he had two hands anyway. Okay. Okay, so they're attached by the hand on the string. Oh God, I don't like where this is going. Ho ho ho! Just yanks him back like a dog. Oh. <gasps> Nah, nah, no, 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 not this early. We've just started. Nah. No, it's not. No, Rick. Oh, oh my God. Oh my, and he's just going to run and bleed in a... A farm full of oh my god they are not holding back yes so cool oh my god I can't believe it oh Rick oh Rick oh Rick oh my <laughs> oh he's gonna what do you call it sear it oh gosh I don't even want to look at that you can tell he's been through a lot in the apocalypse, hey, by the fact that he's got full confidence that that's going to work. Oh, wow. All of that for nothing, Rick. Oh, he tried. That is super sad, isn't it? What dream sequence is this? Cartography. It's so nice seeing her all dressed up. Very cute. I cannot believe that they opened the episode like that. Holy moly. So walkers for energy, very much like Dead City. What happened to your forehead? <laughs> what happened to your forehead? Oh, he's very nice, isn't he? <laughs> they put him on a leash. Poor Rick. You really did that shit for real, huh? Yep, he did. <laughs> <laughs> See his face? What? Air conditioning, man. Air conditioning. Can't live without that aircon. Cute. I'm about to be inside the walls, bitch. Like Even after you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Play along, Rick. Play along. Look at her beautiful hair, her beautiful Can smile. Piss off, we want more of that. I tried to escape four times. <laughs> uh huh. I love that they're explaining all that. Oh, that's really nice. My luck is a bag of shit. 
I like this girl. <laughs> Rick Grams <laughs> in jeans and a shirt. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick. You're going to get this poor guy killed. I know you're 100% wouldn't tell you. I love this guy. <laughs> oh, I've got a feeling that he won't, sweetheart, but you might. He looks so badass. So cool. Oh, the fifth attempt at escape. They've done this a few times in The Walking Dead. Hey, they just did it with fear when Troy was, you know, cutting off everybody's hand and pretending like it was Alicia for when Madison found them. Wow, what are these cool little tools? Damn it. Attempt number five failed. Oh, God. Mate. That head tilt, that acting perfection. Man, his speeches are. Whew. This is so great. If they won't let him leave, we're just gonna have to see Rashawn come get him. Aww. Aww, very sweet. Oh, I just feel like, even if you don't know, I ever did that. Oh. I love you so, so much. Tried. Oh, he's gonna I mean, bin it all. I know if I tried. Oh. I tried. Oh, Rick Grimes. What the? Did Rick stage this? Oh my God. Is this Michonne? Did Michonne shoot it down? Oh my god, I really liked that guy. Oh my god, this is gonna be Michonne and her little crew. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That sword, it is, take off your helmet! Stop! Stop! Oh my god, take it off, take it off. Wait! Yeah! <laughs> Oh my god, how perfect! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that's so perfect! I mean, very sad for that guy, but so perfect! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. I just want to cry. What a perfect ending that is. What a perfect first episode. Firstly, to start with something so dark and so deep and then go explain everything. Everything that we wanted to know. Where's Rick been? Why hasn't he come home? All these things. He's tried. He has tried five times to come home. Wow. To think that he'd given up, you know, he hasn't spoke to her in his dreams, obviously, anymore. He's given up on the fact that he can't get back to them. He has to be the protector of this new world. The world needs Rick Grimes. I know I keep saying that, but that, oh, that quote just stays with me so much from Morgan. But anyway, wow. For them to go full circle and Michonne to find him at the end of all that, like, what a perfect episode from start to finish everything in that was just absolutely perfect my favorite parts of that episode apart from that stunning ending seeing michonne just, sorry my daughter's like really excited in the background seeing michonne just rip off that helmet we don't even get them embrace yet we do not get them hugging kissing oh, i love them so much we don't even get that moment yet but just seeing her relief of finding him and rick was in the opposite disbelief he couldn't believe what had just happened oh wow apart from that perfect moment there i loved my favorite scene was when rick went to okafer i think that's how he pronounced his name went to where he was staying and they had that confrontation 
that was insane that sort of sword fight versus gunfight him being like i give up i quit take me out now oh my gosh and then to hear okafer's side of it you know that the sacrifice that he made and that his wife made in order to protect the greater good and save the world wow wow like what a deep storyline but not only a deep storyline like what powerful acting the both of them in that moment there you know shit gets serious when rick does the head tilt and he's got them crazy sort of crying eyes like defeat in his eyes we saw it with negan we've seen it many times throughout the walking dead that moment there perfect my only downfall is that they killed him off in episode one that guy was a brilliant actor they did this in dead city you get used to these characters i know it's only one episode in but you get used to these characters and then they just chop them off um <laughs> pun intended because he was in the chopper oh that was a terrible joke sorry anyway wow i love that they answered all the questions to do with the crm i love that they are building towards something bigger you know, The Walking Dead, you've got all these different communities, but this is way bigger. This is cities. This is secrets. It's so much bigger than what we thought it was. And it really opens the door to everything and how our normal group could fit into things like this. So, oh, I am so excited to see more of this. I hope that that pleased a lot of fans who really wanted to see this Walking Dead in the walking dead that we had before because i keep doing things with my hands but i don't know what to do because that to me was perfect that was absolutely a perfect episode 10 out of 10 smashed it another thing too sorry i'm backtracking a little bit but i really loved the dream sequences like seeing rick and michonne all glammed up all beautiful not in this apocalyptic state perfect as well they're just beautiful together the good thing about those dream sequences as well is it breaks up those light and dark scenes you know when we see rick and michonne in those dream sequences or even when he goes and visits that friend god i can't remember the friend's name but he is hilarious as well he's like if i were to tell you which i am not wow i winked perfectly i can never wink perfect that's amazing i'm so glad i caught that on camera um and if i were to tell you the code which i wouldn't it would be like oh that guy was amazing the scenes with him the scenes with michonne in the dream sequences you know some daylight scenes because what i found with the walking dead is it's always very dark and i don't mean you know because it's supposed to be like a horror drama series i mean like literally the cinematography is always very dark they're always in the woods it's always you know like spotlights on the walker or you know whoever it is attacking them things like that Oh God, I just had a flashback moment to that opening. You can't tell me that the opening of that was not perfect. We have debated for what well, I have in my own brain, probably for months that Rick would lose a hand, right? Will he like the comics? Will he not? That like, doesn't matter, blah, blah, blah. Like fighting in my head. And they open with that. Wow, like what a way to open that perfect i'm sorry i don't know much more than i can say that was absolutely perfect good luck topping that in episode two because whew, fantastic i am all in as negan says i am all in. all in for this series loved it perfect let me know in the comment section what you thought about episode one how excited were you to see rick grimes back that opening scene where we've just got his like gorgeous lock of hair just needed it. Hearing that beautiful, beautiful Andrew Lincoln voice, just needed it. Everything was perfect. I feel like I'm just repeating myself now, but that was absolutely perfect. Let me know in the comments section what adjective you would give to episode one. I will be covering this every week, obviously, because I absolutely love The Walking Dead. And now that that has been like that, oh, yeah speechless. Anyway, come back next week to watch my next week's vid. Make sure you're subscribed and then head on over to my gaming channel and give me a sub over there as well, please. And the links to all my socials are in the description box. So make sure you give me a follow on those as well. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.